Well, welcome. We're at the club, we're at the gates, but we don't know if the head knocking awaits just yet. I need one peg to get the 60 for the club membership here. I'm at 59. I've decided to come down here. I've been baiting. I'm going against cardinal rule about hunting, shooting over baits or whatever, but I got a boar hog or two that's acting funny on camera, not letting them all eat. So we're fixing to go in here and see if I can let that 22 mag eat and uh, not one in the head come on. So anyway, let's open these gates. Let's do a little stalking, sitting, hunting, whatever. We got to get a big hog down. Come on. Come in here and I want to make sure there's 22 mags on. So it's going to be headshots only. I'm not doing any uh, body shots because it's got to count for me here. So it's a lot different than, uh, you know, just shooting one. I don't want to lose it. So I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just kind of getting an idea of what I need here. And I'm actually going to put something here to rest on. So give me just a second. What we'll do is squeeze this down a little bit right here. I'm actually going to pull this on up a little bit so I can see a little better. So what I got is a can down there. <laughs> Y'all was ready for me to pull the trigger. I got a can down there. It looks like a margarita can. I don't know who's been sipping on margaritas down here, but better calm down, son. Better calm down. Look like I hit just to the right of it. That could have been me. So we're going to try it one more time. I mean, it looked like I barely hit to the right of it. Try it again. Check. See. I'm gonna turn the gun this way as I walk down there, so it's open the barrel. So, it was actually okay. Well, I actually hit the can twice, and I I think the first shot is where I shot over it. I'm sorry. So I actually hit the can twice. So we're in the head. So uh, excuse me. One of those shots could have been me, and that's okay. We're in the head, and I really want to shoot him with 22 mag. So I would take my 270. The problem with taking the 270 is I haven't sighted it in, and I'm not gonna sit around here and sight it in. So, <laughs> but I want to check that. I'm trying to debate on which one. I think I'm gonna go down here, and we'll just see what happens. Take a little ride. I haven't decided. We got a north wind at about three miles an hour. It's not a whole lot of wind. Oops. Sorry there, Barnes Crossing in New Albany. I'm scratching up the truck a little bit. But it's not a whole lot of wind, but I may get in that little shooting house right there. We'll have to see, make sure there ain't a wash nest in there, but we'll go down here and see what, see what we come up with. Did you notice there's no wing beats when the owl takes off? At night, when the mice are down there, they can just jump out and there's no wind. There's no sound, there's no flapping. There's no flapping noise. They just catch something. It's crazy. Did you just know I was really face, <laughs> my face was really in the camera? <laughs> Face mask and some gloves. 
mainly for the bugs. Put a long sleeve on. So I'm tell you, I got eat up by the bugs the other day. And dude, every time I'm around talking to somebody, I feel like a freaking crackhead, man. Just scratching all up, my arms bleeding. Got them in my belly button. Just ticks and chiggers and everything else. Red bug, whatever you call them. Anyway. We're gonna go down here and see if we can't make it to the shooting house. And uh, see if, we, if it ain't no wasp in there. If it is, we may just have to set up under it. See what happens. We didn't slip out of there. And uh, you seen I had the holes. I could have shot one. But that big hole never showed up. I don't know what's up with that. Never showed up. He's been with that group for the last two or three days. But you know, you could tell if you had watched, I had them noses in there. They could tell that three mile an hour wind I had to my back it wasn't a great setup, but still could have killed something. Man, I wanted that 60th hole. But I guess we're gonna get to trapping now, huh? We're gonna get to trapping. Anyway, thank y'all for joining in. Going home, see my beautiful wife. Oh, rubber feet if she wants me to. <sighs> Good morning. I went to bed last night and slept decent. Now I'm back in the cornfield. I'm coming to pick this trap up. This is the cornfield, if you remember. Uh, God, excuse me. 
I'm very tired right now. But anyway, this is the cornfield where they eat up everything. Y'all remember, I'll, I'll try to see if I can't find the footage of y'all don't remember. <laughs> but uh, they kind of replanted the corn in that spot. But you can see the corn's been coming back up. The hogs are not here. I don't see any tracks around it. Of course, I mean, it's been a while. It's been here for a minute now. But I don't see any even no tracks, you know, coming through here or anything on hogs. <sighs> But I'm a little distressed, aggravated, agitated right now. I come to get this trap. I come to take this trap down because I'm going to take it to the club where I was at trying to kill that hog with my rifle yesterday. I got one problem about getting the trap, though. I left the house and all I had on my mind was going to the store and get me a Frappuccino and a green tea. <coughs> I didn't hook up the trailer. I did not hook up the trailer to haul the trap off. <laughs> and I done drove 20 miles. <laughs> so, ugh. All right. So it's probably going to be a little change of plans today. Anyway, I am going to take the camera. I got to charge that battery up, but. There we go. Alright. We'll come back. Hit the trailer with this. It's gonna put me about an hour behind. But maybe an hour and a half. Maybe an hour and a half. That's the way it goes. Y'all seen me struggle. Struggle and struggle. Still doing it. Anyway. Let's go, guys. Well, this would be a good time to read, I guess. <laughs> this is all the struggles I have. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. <clears throat> Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break their teeth of the wicked. For the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessings be on your people. All right, so we're back right here. That's that stand I was under yet last night, yesterday evening. I was up under that stand right there. And uh, we're here to put the trap right here and see if we can't get these hogs, man. Uh, I don't need but one more to get the membership, but I got a bunch of hogs here, uh, as you've seen. And uh, we just got to get them. So I'm not going to waste your time on setting and all that. Y'all know how I set it, so... Uh, and if you don't, I'll do a video of it separate, how to set it and all that. But anyway, let me get to work. I'm only about three hours behind now. <laughs> there you go. All crap set. And I'm not sure if I'll catch tonight. It's a lot of corn spread right here on the outside. Hogs could hang out right there, but that's okay. I don't have to catch on first night. The main thing is we're set and we're ready to start catching. Let's go check another spot on this club. Get the ranger loaded up, and then I gotta go to another spot and hang a, I mean, and put a camera up. So it's all day, every day, baby. All day, every day. Back down here in this bottom. Had a camera over there. And uh Lana on a call me, he said another hog showed up. You can kind of see it's mucky right here, so. We're gonna try to get us a hold. Stinks, stinks, stinks. But uh, we're gonna try to catch us a hold. I brought that other camera down here, back down here, and see if we can't catch another one. And uh, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Like I said, we started around 8.30 or so which is a normal day's work for a lot of people. It's just, uh, 
I ain't like a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, the landowner had gave me, donated this uh, 22. This is actually a Thompson Center. A lot of people think it's a Ruger because Ruger makes this model, but uh, this is actually a Thompson Center model. Anyway, the landowner donated this. He knows the old one I got and just wanted to give me a little extra, so he did. I caught a lot of hogs down here, so it's a great donation of uh, to the Y'all Y'all channel with this brand new uh, head knocker, you know. So let's give it a try, see what it's all about. Well, how many times have you seen this? When you see the gates, head knocking away. And I got my main man, Cruz, with me today. You ready to go knock some heads? We got to figure out if we got a hog in there, don't we? We're running kind of late, and we hope he didn't jump out. But if he hasn't, we're going to get him. And you're doing all the work. <laughs> He's a big bully hog, too. He's a big bully hog, you think? Man, yeah, these big bully hogs are always, always bullying things around. So, we're teaching crews today on the aspects of trapping hogs. Get this lock. There we go. Anyway, we're teaching crews on the aspects of trapping, why we do it and stuff like that. Some of that you probably won't see on film, but I've been discussing with him safety aspects, and all the rest of it. So y'all come along with us as we head on down there to get another hog off this property. You! Yeah. Ah! I got all over, Drew. Get right here. Get inside. Let me put this up. Right here. No, I got you. I got you. Come on. I'm going to get you up here. All right. You stay up here. Okay? You just stand right there. I'm going to get a little footage of him. There's a meaning now. All right. Hold on just a second. Yeah, have to be careful. They bite you. They'll bite you. What? They can kill. They they can get everything. They mm -hmm. man, them hogs they tear up everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna get him knocked in the head, and we gotta figure out how to get him dragged up in the back of this ranger where yes. you're at. 
cool. He, he looks like a fat thing. Yeah, he's a big one. He looks like a... Be like easy, a e easy with our words. Easy with our words. Like a six-pounder. <laughs> six-pounder. Uh, he's probably a... Uh, hundred and... Uh, he's probably 120 pounds, probably. Yeah. Well, we're going to look at him. We got to get it fixed up. Woo. <laughs> Yeah, you got a little boo-boo in it on. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Well, it should be easy. We have to worry about what this boy be saying all the time. Just be easy with your words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, look, we're going to get this thing. We'll back this ranger up to the thing, and, and we're going to try to do our thing, okay? And understand why we're doing it. Yeah. All right. All right, cruise man. Cruise man. Cruise Man just took down his first hog, his first animal that he's got to take down himself. And it's a little bit different doing it in a trap and opposed to deer hunters. And Because uh, you were with your dad one time, and y'all shot a deer, didn't you? And that, that was kind of way out there, right? Yeah. Like 100 feet away. Like 100 feet? Yeah. Man, I can't even say 100 feet. Your dad's an awesome shot because I couldn't have done it. Yeah. yeah. So I shot him between the eyes. You shot the hog between the eyes. You did exactly. You listened to me. And you took your time and everything, and and but but you're good with it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because because the main thing is if you're not ready, it's okay. But you know, Harlow started when he was like five and six years old, and it just gives an understanding of what we have to do to manage land. I thought it was gonna take me three or two shots. You thought it was gonna take two or three shots, and it didn't, did it? It took you one shot, and uh, it was perfect, perfect. So uh, anyway, and like I said, you're part of the trapping tradition community now buddy mm -hmm. and like i said we always have to be careful and the reason we put you back up here did i just tell you no boo-boo words <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it i know but your mama gonna get on to me for them words she says we have to think about the words we say <laughs> before we speak them <laughs> so anyway uh like I said, and this is what we do when we're trying to gain. And like I said, for a lot of new people, don't think we're out here. We're making kids going to be any which way do y'all think they're going to end up. But that's not happening, like I said. But it's just... We're trying to make money. <laughs> we're trying to make money. <laughs> we're trying to make money. Oh, so this is 72 This is seventy two hogs been caught on this piece of property right here. That's a lot of hogs. Yeah. I mean, you think about having 72 cats around your house. Yeah. Whew, I can't stand cats. Uh -huh. You like cats, though, don't you? I like dogs. <laughs> but we wouldn't ever be mean to the cats. So we just, you know, we're talking through this right here, right they now. They aggravate some more. Oh, man, they aggravate. They don't. aggravate, too. Yeah, we aggravate a lot, don't we? Mama gets on to us for aggravating each other a lot. but She, she, she finishes it. Yeah, she finishes it. <laughs> when Mama comes we, in. We played around. <laughs> we play, and then she finishes She finishes. It. She says, no more playing. So, but, but we have to remind them we're talking and we're, and we're keeping our mood good right now because we want to, to make sure that all this is okay at the time. Like he's around it all the time. He sees dead hogs so, all the time. It's just a different way of bringing up. And as he gets older, you'll understand more because your daddy's going to teach you to be strong and be a hunter. And, and I'm going to try to teach you to be something. <laughs> <laughs> A pig trapper. <laughs> so, but like I said, and, and that's the way we try to raise our kids here in the South. And 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 because, like I said, if it wasn't for people like me, my son, him, my dad, granddaddy that does this kind of stuff, you know, it wouldn't get done. Because a lot of people in the world that just don't believe. Everybody believes it's unicorns and fairy tales and pixie dust, and it ain't. So, you did a good job, son. All right. Well, now we got now we got to pick. We got to drag him out. Yeah. And you ain't got your boots. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's get started all right, it's uh yeah push it up all the way that's good all right and fairly ease it up fairly ease it up there you go come on that's good buddy that's good thank you good job that's good you can leave that alone you can leave that alone guns unloaded say we took the chip the, the magazine out and everything so Well, 
I don't have a weigher on this one. We gotta tell everybody we got them new Yacht Yacht t shirts, yacht yacht.com. Yeah, because I just killed this thing. Oh, you got that one? Yeah, because I just killed this thing. You did. I never ever shot a pig. You never shot a pig. That's your first one. That's awesome, buddy. I'm gonna crank this up so it'll have more power to winch that thing you up. I, I'll, uh, I'm going to let you use this, okay? Right. I'll show you how to do it. There's a lot of holes, man. All right. Good job, Cruz. All right. Well, let's roll on out of here. We had to come to the traceway. Because we were hungry. Because we were hungry. Pig trappers, they, they got to get our strength up. We got to get our food and strength up going. It just wears you out. Mama, Mama just don't understand how much work we do when it comes to pig trapping, does she? <laughs> you got the chicken. I got the patty melt and a salad over here to trace away. So. Who knows what else we'll get into today, huh? We're gonna aggravate each other, that's for sure. <laughs> so, we come down here to fish. Check this out. Cruise, look at this fish. That is awesome, hold up. There you go. Just let it back down and then, there you go. Did it go all the way through him? What did it do? Awesome. So, <laughs> so, Cruz, what happened there? You actually threw it out there. Yeah, I just pulled it up in. You was pulling it with the end of the rod. You weren't even using the rod, the reel. You were just using, you are pulling the string up. Uh -uh. Oh, I was, I was talking about the dog. I'm sorry. There you go. Good job, son. Yeah. All right, with them. don't throw him hard, but just put him back out there. Yeah, don't break his jaw. He okay. So... Anyway, I just happened to look over here. So we've done went got uh, lunch and all that and whatnot after being a hog trapping, carrying on. We come down here to the uh, to the lake. I told you fish don't bite at lunchtime. But I told you. <laughs> but you told me. Watch the dog. So the dog got in the way earlier, and he's down here and he's got the line wrapped around the dog. Yeah. It was heavy. I know it. So. So he was, he put the, you put the rod and reel down. How, yeah. how was you doing it? And you were just pulling it in like that. And all of a sudden <laughs> he just had a fish on it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, he's like, I think I got a fish. I was like, no, you don't. You got the, you got the, the grass. No, nope, he had a fish. <laughs> oh boy. Well, anyway, we're just out here. We're going to fish and whatever and do this. So, hey Cruz, let's go ahead and end this video. Cause it's going to be a long one. You showed him you can catch fish. I caught one yesterday, didn't I? Yeah. Because I caught a giant. He's like 45 pounds. No, Mikey caught the biggest oh. one. He was a massive. Massive. He was like a thousand pounds. 
<laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Yelp Yelp Show. Y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. Go to yelpyelp.com. We got some new merch and uh, our new color merch. And uh, we're just going to have a good time. Yep. Catch some fish. Got a duck right here. Got a duck right there and everything. So y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And it's out. Hey, Jesus loves you. Ow!